Welcome to the updated MyLIQ dashboard, available at dashboard.myliq.com with the same email and password as the mobile app. We redesigned it to make visualizing drive data and accessing reports clearer and easier. This quick guide touches on pertinent tools and features. For more information, please see our Help Center at support.myliq.com. For tax prep advice, please confer with your tax professional or visit irs.gov for tax mileage information. Before exploring the brand new Drives and Reports tab, let's ensure vehicles and custom purposes are set up to make classification easier. Click Settings, then Vehicles and Odometers to check your available vehicles. You can add a vehicle here or click on an existing vehicle to edit the details. Add your start of the year odometer readings here if you file a Schedule C during tax time. Checking Set as the primary vehicle automatically assigns this vehicle to all your drives. Click Save Changes to save any updates. Now click Custom Purposes. These are handy for classifying with more detail than just business or personal. Type a purpose and click Add to save, or click the X and Hide to remove unwanted custom purposes. Return to your drive list Let's check the Drives tab to make sure we have all our drives and if they have enough detail. The Drive list automatically shows drives for the last month. Adjust the viewable drives by clicking the drop-down date filter. You can select specific calendar dates or use the handy date ranges at the top. Today, we'll look at year-to-date drives. Single-click filtering options include the Mode filter to display auto-classified drives, the classification chart and donut for business, personal, or unclassified drives only, and the purpose grid with clickable tiles for drives under each custom purpose. Click clear filters to get back to your basic drive list. The search bar is handy for pulling up drives by vehicle name, location, and even notes text. Click to the right of the magnifying glass and type search terms to bring up corresponding drives. Notice a missing drive? Add it using one of two Add buttons, at the top of the drive list and the Right Drive Details panel. Clicking Add a Drive opens a pop-up, prompting you to choose the drive purpose as business or personal. Then you can add the drive details, such as the start and stop locations, the date, time, and other pertinent details. Click Add Drive to save the drive to your drive list. You can also duplicate and reverse existing drives. Split drives can be joined by selecting the drive segments and clicking Join. See a drive you don't want to keep? Simply select the drive, click Delete, and confirm the delete with one more click. Once you have all your drives, check that they're classified and have enough detail. Clicking the unclassified drives on the classification chart, donut, or purpose tiles quickly brings drives that still need a purpose to the foreground. Edit one by one or select a few drives to classify in bulk. You can edit all drive information except for the date and time using the highly customizable Drive Details panel on the right. The Named Locations feature allows you to rename anywhere you've been. These named locations will appear in your drive list every time you revisit that place. Be as specific as an address or as recognizable as a label, such as work or home. You can select or add custom purposes while adding drives to classify your drives more granularly. Or click the notepad icon to add notes, like who you were with and what you discussed for business meetings. Once you've classified all your drives and are satisfied with the level of detail, you can create a report. Those filing taxes using a Schedule C will find the summary at the top of an annual report most useful. 
you can create very specific reports at the Drives tab, but Quick Report Generation is easiest at the Reports tab. Click the Date filter, then click Year to Date. Last year will be useful during tax season. Ensure you select All Drives in the Type drop-down menu for tax purposes. Selecting Business Drives is handy if you're reporting to your employer. Click the Vehicle Type menu and select All Vehicles Used at All for Business Purposes. Click Create this report and input a report name and where to send it. Reports are automatically emailed to you unless you select to report to Concur or FreshBooks directly. Click Create Report to email a copy to yourself and to have it appear in your archived reports, which you can access at any time. Reports are available as PDFs or spreadsheets. The PDF visualizes data for quick accessibility. At the top, you'll find the high-level details, including the total of your business mile value, tolls, and parking, which can be entered on Line 9 on a Schedule C tax form. You'll also find the summary of mileage details by vehicle here. Remember, each vehicle requires its own entry for business miles, commute miles, and other personal miles on Line 44 on the Schedule C tax form. Your entire drive report can be found in detail below the summary. That's it! Now you're familiar with the basics of our new web dashboard. For more MyLIQ information, please visit our Help Center and YouTube channel.